grew up in a very small town uh, where I had, had a lot of family, grandparents, uncles and aunts, um, a church family um, who often helped with, with childcare. And today in that same town, both of my brothers live across the street from each other. They have big families that help each other out in the same way. Um, but my wife and I moved to New York City, uh, a thousand miles away from the rest of our family. And we decided to stay here and we knew that we were going to need help. In this building in Astoria, uh, one couple uh, of our friends from church had moved into this building and then they opened up the path for another couple to move into the building. And then another apartment move, opened up um, just as we were moving with, with a one month old baby and couldn't look at apartments ourselves. And they, they found us the spot and they helped us move in. Being that close to them as we were dealing with the newborn, um, they helped with childcare or even just like lending baking ingredients and very uh, stereotypical neighborly duties. Uh, we were all trying to help each other out occasionally in, in just various ways that happened to come up. Um, but very soon after that, then COVID hit and our informal community turned into kind of a formalized bubble with explicit rules about being honest about your own possible COVID exposure, for instance, uh, which honestly is a great exercise in self-disclosure um, and forcing yourself to open up a little bit more. So I personally am inclined on my own to just sort of build my own castle and wall myself off from the world uh, if I'm left to my own devices. Our commitment to our Christian family here, it forces me to open myself up, um, face disagreement and different life perspectives. But in a Christian community, I am always led again and again uh, to the basic commonality of our status together in God's family. Um, that whatever differences the world sees between us, that we are fundamentally linked in Christ. Some of us have been getting together on Friday nights, uh, really for, for several months now, informal hanging out. Other times we have an explicit topic of discussion. One of the couples um, are both artists and we meet together sometimes to, to share works in progress and just give feedback and encouragement on new creative works. Um, so cultural renewal is, is a big part of that dream too. And another couple has a special passion for helping the poor and the homeless in our city. And that's definitely another part of what we're hoping to do by committing to our neighborhood. In addition, we've also really sought to be just a witness of God's grace to the rest of our building. This past year, one of our neighbors got COVID and later had a stroke. And we were able to help them um, with meals for their teenage son while his parents were in the hospital. In spring 2020, uh, just as the pandemic was hitting, my wife and others from the building, they built a communal garden in the backyard uh, just to see you know, vegetables and flowers springing up in the garden in the back. Uh, everyone in the building can see out of the back windows and many of our neighbors commented to us just uh, what a sign of, of hope that was to them. And my hope for this is similar, uh, that by limiting ourselves in certain ways, we're committing to not being somewhere else, but being right here, um, that we would similarly be able to be a source of stability, comfort, um, artistic and cultural renewal, but in, in the biggest way that we would be a source of the grace of God that's flowing into us and would flow into the lives of people around us in, in our neighborhood.